How to be calm in a crisis. After the feast one day, somebody comes up to me, a woman, and she asked me, Brother Bo, you look so calm. Do you ever have times when you are worried? And I laughed and I said, of course, I'm a father. I've got two boys, you know, ask any parent. Parents worry about their children. You know, we wish that when Jesus said, do not worry in the Gospel of Matthew, you know, we're looking for that asterisk. We're looking for that asterisk where there's a footnote that says, except parents, (laughs) except mothers. Oh, there's no such thing. So, but yes, I am a father and I've got two boys and I worry about them. I'm also an entrepreneur. I've got a few businesses. And hey, an entrepreneur will eat problems for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks, and midnight snacks. We have problems left and right. You know, an entrepreneur solves problems. That's basically what an entrepreneur is. And so when I have problems, when I have this problem, and that problem, and that, you know, oh my gosh, I'm focused on them, and I'm saying, what should I, what am I going to do? And so yes, it's stressful, and yes, I do have worry. And then here's the thing, I'm involved in ministry, and any kind of ministry you you you're gonna face you know problems and conflicts and lack and inadequacy so there just want to tell everybody clear the confusion (laughs) the misunderstanding oh brother Bo Sanchez is so calm he has no worry I do but here's the thing I do two things two powerful things when it comes to worry and so if right now you are stressed you are going through a crisis can I share with you these two things? The first thing I do is I focus on what I can control. And and basically I say, up, I cannot control that. Oops, I, I cannot control that. A and B and C and D and E, I have zero control. Why focus there? You see, when I focus on the things I cannot control, that's when worry overtakes my heart and it overwhelms me. What I do is I remove my focus on the things that I cannot control and focus on the things that I can control. My dear friend, I invite you to do that right now. You know, what are the things I can control? Oh, I can control a G and H and I and J and F. So focus there. I do and I come up with a plan. I come out with some action steps. And then I feel so much better. And then I do number two. About the things I cannot control, the magic sauce is I surrender everything to God. I have zero control anyway. Why not give it to the Lord? In our gospel for today, Jesus was in the middle of a storm and he was sleeping in the stern of a boat. While seasoned fishermen were all around him panicking, he was sleeping because he surrendered. What what is the domain of his father? And when he, he had peace in his heart, he stood up and this is what he did. He calmed the storm using the peace that the Father gave him in his heart. My prayer for you is that you receive the peace of the Father in your heart and that peace will overflow to every area in your life. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, give us wisdom to know what to do in the areas where we have control and give us trust to surrender the areas in our life we have no control. Thank you, Father. We love you, Lord. We worship you and we praise you. We give you honor for the miracles that are coming in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Are you looking for a place to replenish your spirit, a place to encounter God, a community that will journey with you in the Lord, Join the feast, our spirit will gathering like no other. Find out more through Facebook and I'll see you there.